Hey guys, it's Multiplier here. We're with Plugin Boutique, and in this video, I'm going to show you Equalize, which, as you can guess from the name, is an EQ plugin. It does some really cool things. I'm going to show you my favorite features, and I'm going to be putting it on the snare component of this futuristic beat I've been working on. So I'll play the beat first of all, and then show you some cool stuff, some useful things about this plugin on the snare. Great stuff, so I'll solo the snare. And what I want to do is cut out the unnecessary low frequencies. So I'm going to do a high pass filter, allowing the high frequencies to pass through. And to do that, I'm going to move the node to approximately somewhere in the low frequency end, first of all. You can see the nice readout, the nice visual feedback as to what's happening. And I'm going to choose a high pass filter, this guy down here sometimes called a low cut because it's cutting the low frequencies. And straight away, before I even configure it, you can see one of my favorite features, and that is you can see the output of the equalizer overlaid over the input. The output is this dark gray greeny color, and the input is this dark gray purpley sort of color. So check out the frequencies and notice how you can see what the EQ is doing to the input and how that corresponds to the output. Therefore, in this particular example, you can see exactly how much of those low frequencies are being cut. See that green overlaid against the purple? Super useful feature because you can see exactly what's going on. But this isn't quite cutting enough of the low frequency, so I'm going to steepen this high pass or low cut using the slope down here. Check this out. See how you can determine exactly how steep it is? From really flat to insanely steep? I just love how you get more than those one or two options. You can get it exactly at the steepness, exactly at the angle that you want. So I'll just dial this into taste. Again, notice the output overlaid against the input so you can see which low frequencies are being cut and how much they're being cut by. And that should do the job. Chances are you didn't hear the difference as I applied that low cut, and that's because the low frequencies that are being cut are low in volume. But when you have lots of different elements of a track all contributing a little bit of low frequency rumble, that results in a muddy, messy bass. In fact, if I flip this into a high cut or a low pass, and you turn up your headphones, you can probably hear the low frequencies that are being removed. Note, these low frequencies aren't contributing in any meaningful way to the snare, they're just bits of random anomalies. Another feature I love about this EQ is for every single node in the equalizer, you can specify is that going to be a node affecting the entire signal, or just the mid, or just the side, or just the left, or just the right. So you could have, say, this low cut applied to the entire signal, but then insert another node doing a little bit of a resonant boost. And just for fun, maybe just apply that to the sides. In this example, I wouldn't actually recommend doing that. Typically, it works best for stuff like vocals, pads, and synths. But it's nice to know you can do that. For every node, you can have it applied to either the left side, the right side, the mid, the sides, or just the entire signal. And then another little feature that you may have noticed if you have keen eyes is that as you move this little peak about, see how there's note information? So as I'm moving this resonant peak around, it's telling me what note the frequency is at. So at the moment, it's at around E5. Now, the reason I like this is you can get super nerdy with your tuning of your EQ. Something that some of the biggest guys in the world do that not everyone talks about is tune their EQ resonances. So if you have, say, a really big resonant peaky thing like this, or maybe even just a high pass or a low pass with a big bump, a big resonant bump in it, what you can do is tune the frequency of that bump, of that resonant peak, to the key of your track. 
It's all these little subtle details that can help you take your tracks to that next level. And it's stuff like hi-hats in particular that I love doing this little trick with because hi-hats have just a whole span of noisy frequencies. Therefore, if you're going to boost a particular part of that noise, it's quite nice if you can do that in key with the rest of your elements. And finally, a super nerdy little detail, something specific to equalize is this mixed phase mode. Now, the difference between minimum phase mode and linear phase mode in equalizers in general is a super technical, nerdy detail that you can't explain properly in less than 20 minutes, especially if you then want to know how you then apply that knowledge in your tracks. But if you do know the difference, mixed phase mode, which is specific to equalize, is the best of both worlds. You can dial in the latency using the latency control here to get just the right balance. It's great stuff and something I've never seen before. And there you have it, Equalized by Acon Digital. I've been Multiplier. Thanks for watching.